Hello everyone, uh, it's Jeff here again with the uh, as promised video for this week and this is my contest video for hitting 500 subscribers and I've already gotten several comments on my past few videos um, congratulating me on 500 so thank you very much. Um, it uh, <clears throat> continually blows my mind that people are subscribing to me still and watching and commenting and it's uh, it's wonderful I have to say I love interacting with you all and there are so many channels out there now and there are so many people putting so many videos out there that I know uh, not like it's competition but there's so much to choose from that it can be overwhelming and uh, I'm uh, honored that you guys um, tune in and watch me. <laughs> Even though I, I need to shave today, I haven't got around to it. I'll get there. But anyway, <clears throat> I, uh, I struggled with the theme for this contest. Trying to keep things somewhat original, somewhat fun, and something relatively easy to do to make an entry. So... I think I have something that will be all of those things. Now, <clears throat> we're just going to go over a couple of basic rules here. Um, first of all, you first have to make a video entry. And you have to put a comment below in this video that you made it to let me know. And then I will go and watch it from here. So there's that. Uh, you have to be a subscriber. That should go without saying, but, you know. <laughs> if you want to get in, you got to be a subscriber. <clears throat> and today is February 13th. So I'm going to give this contest a month. I've been doing that for my, my last couple. So uh, the deadline for this contest will be 11.59 p.m. on March 13th. And then a day or two after that, I will do the drawing for it. What is the prize? Well, um, seemingly since five seems to be the theme for me lately, um, with 500 subs, 50th spin zone, I'm going to turn 50 this year. Ugh. I'm going to make the prize a $50 Amazon card or PayPal transfer. So this contest is open to anyone, you know, in... America or overseas, because that will be um, easily done electronically. <clears throat> so, I think I think that covers the basics. But uh, I think that's it. Yeah. So the theme of the contest is to show um, records, you know, or whatever media you choose that contain. Um, you have to pick five of your favorite riffs and show where that, you know, where it came from, like what song and what album. I have examples. Now, it could be any kind of music. It doesn't have to be rock. It could be jazz. It could be country. It could be prog. Any type of music. There's no limit. And it could be any kind of instrument. So, obviously, you've got the guitar for Smoke on the Water, one of the classic killer guitar riffs of all time, yeah, <clears throat> off of uh, the Machine Head album, Deep Purple, and I know you guys are probably humming it right now as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I said it, because I know I am, um, like I said, it could be guitar, it could be bass, it could be bass guitar, you think of Lou Reed and Transformer, what are you thinking? Walk on the Wild Side, right? And the iconic opening bass guitar riff. That's actually what I used. I used bass guitar riffs as my theme when I actually got on the radio last year. And this was one of the songs. But there are many other songs <clears throat> out there that have iconic bass guitar riffs. Or it could be synthesizer riffs. I'm thinking of Won't Get Fooled Again, off of Who's Next, or even Babbo O'Reilly. That would be another one. 
that has an iconic synthesizer riff when the Who started um, incorporating that uh, instrument into their sound. Or, <clears throat> for, for drumming, I picked Peg off of Asia by Steely Dan because uh, Rick Morata, who was the session drummer for that song, whenever I hear it, it's so... I don't want to keep using the word iconic, but it's so, um, it just drives the song. And no, he doesn't do like a solo in it, but just the, uh, you know, this is a pretty bland back cover here for, for Asia. Um, but it's nuanced and it's peppy and it's up and it's syncopated and it's everything you would want in a drum track. So whenever I think of of drumming, besides the obvious people like, you know, Keith Moon or, or Neil Peart or somebody like that, or Bill Bruford, Phil Collins, <clears throat> I just picked this to be a little bit off the beaten track, because Peg is one of my favorite Steely Dan songs, and it has, you know, memorable bass line as well, memorable uh, keyboard line, guitar lines, and, but the drumming is the heart of the song, and for me, it's, uh, one of my all-time favorites. Or it could also be saxophone. You think Jerry Rafferty, City to City, this album I just picked up the other day. I got it on eBay. You think Baker Street, right? That's what I think of. That's the reason why I bought this. <laughs> I wanted to have Baker Street on vinyl. <clears throat> but the iconic uh, sax solo by uh, who played that? Uh, Raphael Ravenscroft played the uh, instantly memorable, hummable, catchy saxophone riff on Baker Street, which is one of my all-time favorite songs. So you kind of get the idea. Any instrument, any genre of music you choose, but pick five of them, show uh, and show us you know, what album they came from, and, you know, talk a little bit about it. That's all. And that's all you got to do. And you guys got a month. And the winner will get 50. So, uh, good luck to everyone. I look forward to all of your entries. Hopefully, you'll find this, you know, easy to do and, and a little fun to do. It gives you something different to think about. I don't think anybody's done favorite riffs. If they have, it's it's been a while because I haven't I haven't seen anything related like that on a contest. Could be wrong, but um, like I said, have fun with it. And uh, when you make your entry, just uh, put it down below. So that's it. All right, everyone. Uh, I will see you again soon. This is Jeff. Peace, and thank you again. <laughs>